Love through the stars. Love through the stars. Love through the stars. Thank you all so much. speak on behalf of Seven News. I've been a newsreader there for eight years. I've, I know that we are the people out in the community trying to tell your stories and tell stories in the community every day, but the work you're all doing is nothing short of inspiring. And I've lost track of how many of these awards nights I've actually hosted between this and also the Young Achiever Awards. And it's the kind of thing that I clear my schedule in order to be a part of. So to be nominated is a great honor. It means you've made a significant contribution to the community and had an impact on people's lives. So let's give our semi-finalists and nominees a big round of applause. And the winner is Super Max and Bryce. My mom and I would really like to thank everyone who's helped us actually make it here because without them, we'd never be able to do it, what we do. Um, Annabelle Trends is an amazing group who helps us enormously with everything we do on our project. Um, my school, St Andrews, has also been an incredible supporter of our little group from when I started it back in 2016 with my first bake sale. Um, the Lions Club in Talabudra, ACA Queensland, and all of the little early learning centers that help us, like Bay Explorers, there are truly just so many people to thank. and. We really couldn't do it without all of you, so thank you so much. And could we give a round of applause to all of them? Um, very quickly, we just wanted, well, I would, we wanted to ask you if you would all be willing to do something we like to call Love Through the Stars, and it's a way that we can send love to all the little superheroes that we help out who are currently going through cancer treatment, and we'll have. Sophie up there who's just going to be recording it so we can show them there's people out there thinking about them and you know, supporting them. So what we do is we just we stick our hands above our heads in the shape of a love heart and then we'll do it three times and we'll say love and then we'll throw out our hands and twinkle our fingers and say through the stars. So you ready? Love, love. through the stars. Love. love, through the stars. Love, through the stars. Thank you all so much. If that doesn't give you goosebumps, I don't know what would, but I'm covered in them. A huge congratulations to Supermax and Bryce. Should I say that groups and individuals that we hear about at these awards are so inspiring and their stories are so moving that they actually motivated my wife and I just over four years ago to go out and act. From becoming a member of Lions Club International to one day starting up our own charitable foundation as well. Thanks to everyone who nominated. We've had previous winners in this category, including corporations, uh, individuals, and last year, community radio crew. Congratulations to all the finalists. And the winner of the Cineco Safety Award for this year is the Sunport Group. It's a fantastic synergy for, uh, for us. Uh, Awards Australia, the Community Achievement Award, the Bendigo Bank Community uh, Group of the Year Award. Like, just what a wonderful opportunity for us to uh, to showcase what we believe in so much ourselves. I mean, every day, through our customers, we help change lives, we help save lives, and just generally make a difference. We make a living from what we get, but we make a life from what we give. And that basically sums up uh, our finalists here tonight, and a lot of finalists of other categories as well. For this category, it's Green Fox Studio, Studio Kelly Wilmot and Amanda Shepherd. But we hadn't quite prepared a speech until we arrived tonight. 
that's pretty much the way we roll. <laughs> I'd like to first congratulate Awards Australia Charitable Foundation for initiating this new award around mental health and well-being. QPAST is privileged just to be part of this wonderful night recognising the power of community. I think everybody in this room would have had someone close to them who struggled with mental health, particularly over the last few years with COVID-19, the pressures of cost of living. It's really made mental health a significant issue for all of us. So many of the applicants for this award were led by people with lived experience of mental health and recovery, who are giving back to their community, volunteering, creating programs or scaling up innovative projects. I congratulate you all and encourage you to keep going. But we have one winner tonight and I'd like to welcome to the stage Inclusive. Beyond that, I mean, just amazing. I'd like to um, to thank the judges for the time and effort that they put in as well. Amazing number of people that they've got to go through all those submissions, all that reading. Our winner this year is um, is Baby Give Back. A big thank you to each and every one of you for joining us here this evening. For those of you who have travelled. Um, Thank you so much for spending your Friday night with us here at Royal on the Park as we celebrate some amazing community achievers. If you'd like to come up and take photos, please do so. But thank you so much for a wonderful evening. I'm Kendall Gilding from 7 News. We appreciate you. Have a great night.